Graham's sweet potato pies was amazing, not because she followed the instructions, because she churned it with her old raggly hands and got down in there and did what she needed to do. Not because she got something off of YouTube. Welcome to episode 112 of the podcast, MTG, MTMJ podcast with the wife. <laughs> Yeah, What's going on? How are you, baby? <laughs> I'm good. I'm here. Welcome back. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Maybe we should start the podcast with Welcome Back. With some M&M. <laughs> okay. So what we got, how, baby? How, how are you feeling today? The weather is some garbage, so. Trash. Annoying. I want to sleep. It's gloomy. Hell yeah. And Jesus been fighting with whoever keep trying to get up to the pearly gates. He been <laughs> kicking him at back down to hell. He like ah, ah, ah. He's these storms and thunderclaps and shh. nah. I don't want no smoke. No. She got a man. She don't got no manners. Nope. Mm 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 mm. She ain't got no balance, man, but at all. all know that. So whatever it is that I do, it's giving like Kiki Palmer. She got a man, but she ain't got no man. It's cause they live together, she said. So he knew what it was about the outfit. So that's not what it was, but just cause we got a man, you know. We're gonna do it. I don't think that. Alright, so let's start local. Mm. Hey, so look, police interpreter busted in Greenbelt, Maryland. <laughs> A man pretending to be a police officer was arrested Thursday by a real officer from Greenville <coughs> Police Department. According to police, 47-year-old Carl Austin tried to conduct a traffic stop last week along the off-ramp of Greenbelt Road at 201 Northbound. A victim told police Austin drove up behind him in a black Crown Vic, Victoria, and began honking and flashing a white interior and his white interior lights. What the hell? So he didn't even have a police license on his vehicle. You stop? Oh, you a fool. <laughs> now, Carson drove huh? in front of the vehicle, I mean, the victim's vehicle, stopping him from moving forward. Police don't drive in front of you to get you to stop. He then allegedly proceeded to drive back around like a police officer would do doing a routine stop. What type of... <laughs> all, all this is screaming like... uh, um, What's the word? Suspicious. <laughs> The victim told police he <laughs> often put on a Maryland Marshall tactical vest. Oh. <laughs> when does the when does the US Marshals pull you over on the side Ooh. of the road like a traffic stop? He proceeded to call for backup using a a handheld radio and then clutched his black pistol. Police said he did not point the firearm at the victim, but he did lift it up so he could see he had it. What? <laughs> once the vic- once the victim told Clausen he was calling the police, he fled the scene after evading police for a few days. The fake cop was arrested Wednesday around nine ten during a traffic stop. What? <laughs> Why would you stop for somebody that got all this U.S. marshal equipment on? What? The marshal. Next day when we stop it for. Because you know they say Metro Transit, all these other people can pull you over and then call, do. you know, for the actual authorized uh, units to come. But who doing that? First of all, I'm not stopping for nobody that don't got no sirens and police lights on their vehicle. Who doing That's that? That's what I ain't going to do. Even if it's an unmarked vehicle, they do a great enough job when they equip these vehicles that they're putting lights everywhere on these unmarked vehicles. And the only reason I know because I used to service a location where they fixed on them vehicles and I got to see a little bit of the process of them putting the lights and stuff and installing certain things into the vehicle just so it can be equipped with all the things it need to be equipped with to make routine traffic stops to like go to emergency situations. So the fact that he pulled up on you with a white light, bright, the bright light on the side of his car to get you to stop and you stop. You are a fool. But you know, you don't stop. You don't have to stop until you feel like you're in a safe space to stop. 
when you're being pulled over and stuff. So, but him flashing a white light, like if I don't see blue it, and red, get out of here. I ain't stopping. I'm just telling you that. That okay. was so bad. This is the this is a situation in Virginia. Me and my wife kind of was laughing about, and we had to bring it to you because if you go to Arlington County and you 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 do this, you will be fine. So Arlington County is implementing a new pedestrian safety law. So basically, the law states right, like anybody. Most time, we give common courtesy to people when they're crossing in those little white stripe lines across the street for pedestrians. Crosswalk. Yeah, the crosswalk. Right? What I say. The white stripe last. It's yeah, a crosswalk. But in this case, now they've implemented a law that your job is if they cross on one side, you got to stop on the other traffic, side. The traffic on the other side must stop until the pedestrian clears the entire walkway. If you mm-hmm. do not do that, you will get a ticket. And I promise you, y'all. They it's will like the not, school bus stop sign. On top of that, there will not be no person manning these type of laws. They're going to put a camera mm-hmm. on that daggone, on that crosswalk, and they're going to find a way to make sure they can get the money for mm-hmm. implementing these laws. Because you know it has the sensor already to yeah. let pedestrians know when to cross and so, stuff. So I'm quite sure when it says that it's to be crossed and, and somebody crosses, you know, there's going to be a camera right there. Anyway, to get some money, they're going to get you. I'm going to be honest with you. I normally don't yield to people unless they got kids. It's a hundred to five hundred dollars. What? Because people that be trying to cross that crosswalk, they be so rude and disrespectful. If they have the right of way. No, listen. There still shouldn't be a situation where you're taking your goddamn time to walk down that walk across that crosswalk. If I got the right of way and you sitting there, what why can't I cross? Some people don't even wait. To give you the opportunity to give them the opportunity to walk. They just walk out there like they can't get bumped. Oh, now, if you just walk your ass out there, you a hood ornament. I'm just letting you know. Yeah, but you're going to be a hood ornament with a ticket. No, nah, because then you, you'll be a hood ornament with a charge. Yeah, that's what I mean. You're going to be a hood <laughs> ornament with a charge and a ticket and a fine on top of the ticket that you're going to get for them running them down. And that's my thing. Like Sometimes people be a little disrespectful and not uh, considerate to the person who's driving time. They might be late for work. They might be late to a situation. They don't got time for you to take your time crossing the crosswalk, especially if you're on the right side and I'm on the left side and I got to wait for you to fully cross before I go and you taking your time to get from the right side to the left side. Stay out of all of it. That, that's going to piss me off. But but my thing is, Stay those out of laws, they tend to trickle. Just like we started the cameras for like speeding and stuff. Man. It was DC first and then Maryland started implementing it slowly. And now Virginia is doing it. So it's just going to be a trickle, man. So watch. DC will be doing it soon. Man, especially, it's going to be mad tickets. Especially once they get the data about the amount of money they can make from It's going to be mad tickets. I'm going to walk because I'm going to be the one with all the tickets. <laughs> all right, so this past week, they just celebrated the ninth year of uh, Alicia Rudd Remembrance Day in the district. Uh, Alicia Rudd vanished in 2014 when she was just eight years old. She has never been found. I remember going through that situation because the sad part is when I was working for this company that uh, her and her uh, her kidnapper was in, I had to get the video. So I, you know, I, it's it's not um how do I say it? I'm not uh impacted. The word I'm gonna use, I can't. I don't know. No, I don't know what you're trying to say. It doesn't impact me personally, but I still played a role into trying to like uh develop a footprint pattern once she was kidnapped and kind of once she disappeared. The sad part is the way they find white people so quickly. I don't understand how. Nine years later, they still ain't found that girl. At least because they're not looking for. You think so? They're not looking for. You tell it, telling me they don't found Back bodies. Oh, I mean, they're All not looking for. They're not looking for. They not, and that's sad. But yeah. the remembrance is because people here are still, are holding, still holding, holding. Yeah, they're, they're, they're either she's alive. But oh, it's the but but who's holding out hope? Mm, who's the people who are holding out hope for her? It's not even her parents. 
Yeah, you know nothing about her. <laughs> it's her. not even her parents. It's just people in the community. It's people, and it's it's family members of hers, though. Yeah. And that's the crazy part. Yeah. Her mother sold her. Hmm. I had a Listen. theory, though. Because um, he was back. supposed to be her godfather or something? It's what, what if he uh, felt like she was in a tough situation and put her on a train or plane somewhere and sent her far away to somebody because they, could, because they could give her a better life. That's possible. Um, and she don't got a name changing or anything. The only thing that's suspicious about the situation is because he, his wife was found dead and then he committed, su- he committed suicide. Um, but we've also seen situations too in the past over the last few years where people have been missing for decades or so and they were spotted as grown adults. Mm-hmm. So it's a possible, man, look, it's a possibility. Um, it's a lot. Again, that girl was eight years old, and I'm not saying she was the most intelligent, but if she felt like, um, two, she was in a tough situation, and she got tired of living from shelter to shelter, she felt like her mom was verbally abusing her or what have you, it's a possibility that she been <clears throat> she might have been on board with uh through conversations with this dude because they had built a relationship the two while she was in that shelter. So through conversations, they might have been planning this. He might have been preparing her for this. I just hope whatever it is that she is so okay. She's doing good, she's mm-hmm. in better spirits, pray for the family, at least the family members that care. You know what I mean? And it sucks. It's been so long, and they don't they don't really know. Um, but when someone's been missing for so long, don't you think the reward would be more than fifty thousand dollars by this point? It's been... But I mean, they're like the reward is fifty thousand dollars because it's it's something better than nothing to somebody who's actually part of you know yeah. potentially because normally you know the Caucasian families they put up money too, mm-hmm. so to match. Right, so we want to say this girl's name. So say what girl? Car- Carly Russell disappeared for two days. Um, what day was this? On Thursday, um, she reported being on the side of the road, and that she uh saw a child. Um, then when they got there, she was gone. Yeah, it said that her sister, she was she called her sister and told her what happened. And then when she got out, she didn't hear a child. Her sister said she didn't hear a child, but she then heard her sister scream. Yeah, and that so, was it. So, so she, she went missing in Hoover, Alabama. Shh. Well, the good news is last night. She went home to her parents' house. Yeah, it says according to the WBRC News, um, Carly Russell has been found alive and taken to the UAB hospital in Birmingham. And that story unfolded pretty pretty fast. It was, it was reports after reports. Basically it says, details is, Carly has returned. His report was a 25 year old nurse student returned home at approximately 10, 1045 um, PM. And right after that, she was immediately taken by paramedics to UAB. So, so that they was able to, uh, I still want to know how she go missing and just pop up. That's a, that's suspicious, right? It's crazy. Oh, uh, but I'm, I'm glad crazy. she made it back. Yeah, let me tell you though, the algorithms is crazy, man. Because I get on Facebook and the algorithms really directed me right to her mother's Facebook page. Not her mother. Yeah, her mother been really um, urging everyone to kind of help, assist, and find her. She had planned the um, the walk so they can kind of scout the area to kind of go see if they could find her. Right. Yeah, so she had been working real hard. So I'm glad um, she was able to get some good news. And um, mm-hmm. prayers, prayers for her family. Now it's just trying to figure out what the hell happened, and supporting her because she's definitely gonna need therapy. It depends on what the situation was. First, you gotta figure out what happened. You know what I mean? 
That's, that's, that's the one thing you got to do. Mama's going to need some help. You should help the department head issue a warning about syphilis outbreak with 128% increase in cases among women. And we were trying to take a girl's trip to you Texas. You goddamn nasty ass motherfuckers in Texas. So, it says if you live in H Town, you might want to pay attention to this. According to CNN, the Houston Health Department reported a syphilis outbreak with an increase in 128% among women in the city. And there is also a ninefold increase in conjugal cases in the city in Harris County or since 2019. Report states new infections rose 57% from 2019 to 2022. You know, Rose doing COVID. <laughs> so, so, syphilis bacteria infection commonly spreads through sexual conduct, contact. Symptoms are typ- typically painless sores on the genitals. Yeah, that shit ain't pretty. Mm-mm. I used to do uh, my science project, and I used to every year, Sonia. This is not a science project. But no, these mofos need to know about sexually transmitted diseases. That was always my science project. Sexually transmitted diseases. And oh baby, blue waffles and all that shit. Mm-mm. Yeah. Hot girl summer, eh? <laughs> Literally. That's too 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 many too, mm. too much hot girl summer. Mm-mm. I don't want to go outside. Yeah, man. I'm staying inside. Yucky. All right, staying on the topic. So my wife, <laughs> I now know, I now know the true meaning of a hanging, hanging, hanging cat. A hanging pussy cat. Yeah, hanging pussy cat. <laughs> I now know the true meaning. Me and my wife used to joke about. I can talk about this right without offending you. How you offending me? Because you used to say, man, uh, that you that you had a loose pussy. I said it. Yeah. So how you offending me if I said it? So I used to say, <coughs> man, you had a loose pussy. You know, I've been up in there a couple of times. So I know. But <coughs> at the time, I don't think I understood what the true the true meaning of uh, a loose pussy was or hanging pussy until I was sitting at work the other day, just minding my business, enjoying the scenery. And some some homeless lady came and bent her little ass over right in front of me. Not literally in front of him. She was outside. She bent over in his sight, line of sight. My God, man, her pussy lips was hanging all the way down to her cab. Oh, her, not her cur- what? Her curtains? Oh my God! Her curtains was flapping. That shit was flapping like Dumbo with the motherfucker flapping ears. (laughs) (sighs) Okay. Oh my God, dog! I said, "Oh Mm -mm. no, that is it. That's loose pussy. That's hanging. Loose hanging pussy. Yeah. Loose hanging pussy. Cat. Loose loose hanging pussy cat." What's Well, let's hope with her loose hanging pussycat that she not using no expired pads and stuff. But you First know, of all, if, if you got a loose pussycat like that, you can put some goddamn drawers on. Anything can get up in there. She <laughs> probably be grabbing something with her lips. Foot kick up, dirt foot <laughs> kick up and get up in there. Anything. I told her it should hang to her cab muscle. She can put some over her grandma drawers on. Shouldn't be like that. Nah, she that's needs some fit. spanks on. Something that's going to hold them up. She can put some leggings on. <laughs> Anything to hold that shit up. But I was saying for you really interrupted me. Did you know that menstrual pads have expiration dates? Oh, yeah, I did. It's was you checking those dates when you was buying me my pads? You were supposed to. I never had pads long enough to need Hell no. for you expiration. Yeah. Um, but it's real, y'all. Yeah. Their pants do expire. So for those of you who when use work, liners and different things sporadically, when I, when check I work, your dates. When I worked for CVS, that was one of the things you were supposed to do. 
while uh um because you know there's a lot of pads that you women just don't touch and should be just sitting there so once you go to do like a, a planogram or something like that you find end up finding pads that's just been sitting there got so much dust build up on them because it's just so much i think they like corporations be wasting their money they be putting shit on the shelves that no one is going to sell instead of just phasing it out and triple in windows of items that people actually do buy. I just think it don't make sense for you to order shit that is never selling and no one's never buying. Like those, uh, what's those little tiny pad things? Not No one uses those, those little tiny pads. All you women bleed heavily. <laughs> All y'all bleed heavily. But you got kids that start out and they got to start with the smaller oh, ones. I know my daughter gonna start fast. She got stinky underarms all day. <laughs> she only five. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> I just pray to God it hold off until she's at least eleven. I don't think it's gonna do that. She started like me. Well, I yeah, I started at ten. Oh mm. God, what if she started at eight? Nah, who no. Nah. Yeah, who no? She uh -uh. ain't even gonna know what to do. Uh uh. Cause she don't like dealing with none of that yucky shit, so she is gonna have a full blown panic attack. <laughs> mm -mm. Nah. Okay. Next. Moving on. <laughs> Jesus. I thought I was. Do you want to think about that one? Okay, so we got the uh, city girls for the win. You got your girl JT launches a resource website to help formerly incarcerated women. Reintegrate back into society. I think that is so good for somebody who's a fella, you know, that did some time or whatever to actually give back and help those figure out alternatives, um, resources and stuff for them to, um, you know, feel whole again. Because it's nothing like I take for somebody who has a record, who are, um, stripped of their rights and things to be able to do stuff to um now be able to feel like i can make a difference i can actually change show people that i've changed with these resources that's now being provided so i think that's really good i just hope the people that she put in place doesn't defraud the, the, the program because that's what i'm noticing a lot of though they allocate they they allocate resources for for guys to reenter reenter re society and um they do they put certain procedures in place that should help you you know be a better person and do do great things and then when you go to apply for these certain resources they're not available or you gotta wait a long ass time to 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 for the resource to work in your favor, which then in turn put these returning citizens back in a position where they have to do some of the things to just survive, whether it's robbing, selling drugs, or being a shoplifter, or doing crimes and shit. And um, I think that sucks. Yeah. So it's always nice when you see celebrities step up and create initiatives a trip to a school. and create initiatives to <laughs> help facilitate or be just a middle person and you know once the system fails them they can kind of fall they have a fallback or fail safe. And it's it's no guarantee that that's actually gonna always benefit them too but i know it feels good for the person that's making these decisions and putting their money where their mouth is yeah basically because it's like a good thing for her to even you know decide that this is what i want to do to help others because she can just be like it's all about me and what i need you to do and keep stuff to herself to you know be able to handle and deal with things so that's what's up that something was a substance believed to be acid. Her mother met her in the park, by the park, and gave her the substance, the chemical, to throw on the kids. 
and she told the kids that's what they get for messing with her daughter. All the kids were able to scatter quickly, avoiding harm. But De'Ara Summer soon realized she left her purse, went back to grab it, putting her in harm's way. Two seconds after it hit me, it just like started burning. De'Ara's brother was also at the park and called home to tell his mom what he saw. Smoke was coming off her body from head to toe and holes were going coming in her clothes. And he said that they were all running home from the park. Diara was rushed to a local hospital with severe burns. I had third and second degree all the way from my back down. Diara is also having difficulties walking, and her mom is so emotionally overwhelmed, she has difficulties working. No sleep, no, no eating, no nothing because I have to make sure my daughter's needs are met. The family has started a GoFundMe account to help pay for the unexpected medical bills. And now this family wants justice. I'm really bothered by the fact that the suspects are still walking around freely. Detroit police tell Fox 2 it's not their case because it took place on the property of a Detroit Public Schools Community District playground and therefore DPSCD police are investigating. We reached out to DPSCD and are told police are still investigating. They also released a statement which reads in part, the incident did not involve our employees or was it connected to a district or school event. This is a community matter involving two families that do not both attend our school district or the school. So the BS for that, first off, what? Like, that's, that's like where we at right now? Like your child is fighting, your child loses the fight. So they call you and you got acid sitting around? What? Like what's missing here? That's what I'm trying to figure out. What is missing here that you, you just had some acid sitting around? To give your child, and they won't mess with like, okay. And then the police. So they have in Detroit the police department and the school police department. Interesting. But why would the district decide that it's not their jurisdiction if clearly the school wasn't open or none of like? Why would you pass the buck? You don't want to do the work. Like. Sis, and her mother's sitting there just as nice as calm. I know she's rattled, cause baby, I could you imagine? <sighs> That's why um, I remember telling my wife um, when we first had Carl, while it was so important for me to move as far away from the hood as I possibly could. <laughs> Because these kids, man, are being raised in a way that doesn't represent respect, love, decency, uh, responsibility, all that stuff that you're supposed to have as a human being and empathy. The fact that you would put people in harm's way because one, you don't want to just fight your battles. Two, you can't just talk your battles out. Well, no, one, you don't. You just can't talk your battles out. And when talking doesn't work, folks don't know how to fight. So you got to try to kill someone or harm someone. I don't know, man. The fact that Detroit, the Detroit police say it's not their problem. Who problem is it then? Huh. If it's if it's not the school system. Why should the school system, with the limited resources that they have at their disposal as far as their own police uh, department, have to deal with a situation that should require the local PD's police force who have all the resources and the, the time to investigate and bring charges? 
So hopefully, you know, as as they continue to spread the message about this situation, they can get justice in any way possible. Um, but again, I, I do, you know, I think like you are a product of your environment. So if you want your environment to be better, you got to be productive in your environment. And sometimes uh, that means moving away from the environment that probably brings you the most harm. I don't mean no. I I really hope that this baby gets some good, you know, her recovery as well. And, um, you know, she'll be okay because that that's crazy. And for them to be walking free, baby, if my child is sitting here in pain from acid burn, you in pain from for, mm, dirt yeah, bath. Yeah, chances are if you burn, <laughs> no one will react and bring harm to the child who decided to throw this. this, this uh, oh, they took her away quick. Yeah, they, they would have filed charges. Oh, baby. So. Mm, that is sad. That is No pose, you just straight doing your thing right there. Okay. So what what's what's going on with the, the, the Creek College Park mayor? It's a lot of them jokers, man. I'm gonna tell you, man. <laughs> right, and this is some real shit. I read out all this story and I'm definitely about to go off topic. You creep ass niggas that's like the motherfucking prey on people that are, are vulnerable and don't have the wherewithal to be uh to, to stand up for themselves and take up for themselves. You bitch ass niggas, man. I'm telling you. It's a man somewhere that's looking to kick your motherfucking ass. Straight up. I don't care who you are. I don't care if they your relative, all that shit, man. Keep your motherfucking hands to yourself. When somebody says no, no means no. You don't understand the fucking uh ooh. <laughs> As a parent, dog, you don't understand that shit, dog. These goddamn creeps, man. It's so many women out here, ugly. All the ugly women will come for you. You don't need to be. Oh God! Mm -hmm. It's a chick for everybody. Mm -hmm. It's a hole for everybody. Mm -hmm. It is desperate women out here that would allow your ugly ass to do whatever you want to do to them, and they won't say nothing. Mm -hmm. But it's also we understand you don't prey on the ugly people. <laughs> They always got to prey on someone. They prey on the weak. Weak and all this extra shit. And then they jam. Then they jam the female up because she's afraid to just speak out or, or say or just say anything. You weak ass niggas, man. It, listen, when you get caught and go to prison, you know they don't like that in prison. You're about to be peaches, bitch. Police broke uh, <laughs> P P G County, Maryland. Have arrested and charged Patrick Wojan, the mayor of College Park, with possession and distribution 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 of child port pornography. Oh, so the mayor since resigned. Yeah, he resigned, and then he was arrested. The various uh, investigation technology PGP investigated stuff discovered the social media account belonging to him. <clears throat> According to the charging documents, police allege him using uh, that he used anonymous accounts to upload a variety of illegal content to Kick, a mobile messaging app, early in mid January. Kick then notified the National Center for Missing and Exploiting Children, using records subpoenaed for internet service providers. Police said investigators traced the account to him. Police carried out a search warrant at his home on February 28th, seizing multiple cell phones, a storage device, a tablet, and a computer. He was arrested on Thursday morning and charged with 40 counts of possession of child explicit material, 16 counts of distributing distribution of child explicit material. He has been held in county correctional facilities. Hmm. Wow. Creep ass niggas. And these are the people that be put in office and they abuse the authority. Like, sir, did you not know? Did you? 
or did you just not care? But you know they can trace the accounts, the IP addresses, and all that stuff. Like, I want to see how this blue ball look like. It's crazy. Ain't got no pictures, the thought. It's just the thought and the audacity. Like, that's why, like, man, God, man. I'm telling you, man, that's why being present as a parent, mom or father, is so important. Not even just for your daughter, but for your kids in general. Mm -hmm. For your kids in general, man. And I know my grandmother is getting old, but she's constantly, she constantly, oh, yeah, you creep. Oh, yeah. That creep ass looking ass nigga. Oh my God. <laughs> he looked like he was bullied as a child. But I, um, uh, you know, I know my grandmother getting old and she be going through her prayers, but it's just her memory just ain't in the right state. But her prayers, man, like, man, I, I rely on her prayers so much when it comes to my kids, man. Just protecting the kids, protecting our babies, asking God to wrap his arms and protection around them because, man, this world we're living in. It's just crazy, man. And these these are the times where I can speak freely and speak from my heart, though. But man, our babies are growing up in a world where I just think they for, they're forgotten. And parents that have to work so much and they really don't have the time to be present because they gotta pay bills and they gotta be responsible. That's why I'll be trying to find ways to like, man, just just be present as much as I can, be be as active as I can, try to have conversations with my kids and kind of understand. I remember when me and my wife were talking about, you know, sending my daughter to school and how we both agreed we didn't want to send her until she could tell us what was going on. Yeah. That was a consistent conversation. So if she was five and she still couldn't tell us uh, what was going on. Then that's a, no, that's a problem. No, that's a problem. That's a problem. That we would have to definitely get worked on, checked on because that means that would be something more as to why she couldn't vocalize something, but um, daycare, we was, you know, in a place where we didn't have to send either of our kids to daycare. They were able to be home until they were able to actually go to school. I was taking them to work <laughs> when I had those privileges. So um, it's just sad. It's sad that kids are preyed on. Um, just people in general, there's always somebody out here looking at a downfall to do something, to hurt somebody else because of what they're going through. So, but yeah, y'all fucking creeps, like you said, babe. Yeah, but while we on the subject of the kids, mm -hmm. there are uh, kids who are being creeped on, and they're motherfucking ungrateful ones. Little spool brats. So little Boosie's daughter. Her again. On a damn rant her about again. her sperm donor is what she called it. She only called this man her dad. Her sperm donor, but he bought you a car. Stop. You was living with him. You you know Boosie ain't about to let no one talk bad about him. He did not have a response. But let's first read hers. Because mm -hmm. it's a lot. I, I personally read it all and I thought it was hilarious. Mm -hmm. Because this is an audio adventure, I want you to hear exactly what this little spoiled little brat was saying okay and and i couldn't believe it you see that's why i say like it being intelligent and and the fact that he said he sent her to private school and she still said this at the end she wasn't learning how you gonna tell people yeah i missed my car but he still ain't worth shit basically make that make sense so this is what she said who gives their daughter a car take it back on top of that Give her a color she don't even like. Who the hell because is? you not father enough to remember the little shit about your own daughter, nigga, took the car back just because I left from Atlanta to help my mom who damn near lost her life in a car wreck. Because what? What? That's what? That's your favorite rapper, though. I can really run it how, how he... Bitch. How he a bitch. Niggas don't want me to hear it out. First of all, I don't care how much you beefing. With me, if my child calls me a bitch nigga on social media, 
Me and her are going to have a different conversation. She is going to be poor. And she better be lucky if she don't get her little ass whooped. You got me all the way bent. Next. I don't care about all that. You ain't... What, what school she went to? You need to post <laughs> this, people. You need to yeah. post this. People want to see you down. Whoop so, the woo. Whoop none the woo. of... What, that, not, oh, wait, that, wait. That's that country it's, it, it's, the it's the, the letters missing the words. None, none of that fazed me because, okay, yes, I'm mad because that's my car, but it's the fact nigga posed to be my father. But nigga never had a father to, to be one, so I, G, I understand. That's an excuse, though. Like, but still don't front on social media or to people that you the father of the year because you not. It's niggas with no money and a better father than you. Wait, but he just bought a whole compound so that he could put everything, water pumps and all this shit, so his kids ain't got to be in the street to get hemmed up and shit. So what? What? So he bought her a car that was pink, and she had the car changed to black. I never, I never was big on him having uh, money on materialistic shit. So him being a loss is nothing to me. He been a bitch. He gonna stay a bitch. Really mad at myself for giving him another chance to be a dad. He a hoe, and he gonna stay a hoe. That's why he'll never be labeled as my father, cause he don't know, because he don't know hoe running my blood. No, cause he don't. Because don't, don't know hoe running my blood. <laughs> Fuck wrong. It's so much broken English and shit. That's why we confuse it. Nigga give, give his bitch the world and can't even support his own kid. Bitch, he's... Oh, Nigga child, want me to he, ride... He supported you. ...in an old bubblegum car and got mad because I changed it. Bitch, it ain't my fault you I already read that. got homophobia. No, I'm not that. reading that shit. I saw that. That wasn't even worth reading. But that spoiled ass shit, man. She talking about, and then she gonna say, "They bitch, the world can't even support his own kids." Or t- on what old tender dick? He <laughs> 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 said, "Love, love stunting for the gram." I could. I don't ever feel like booties. Boosie be stunting for the gram. Boosie be on there talking his trash, but he don't be on Instagram stunting. Didn't he get shadow banned from Instagram? Maybe. But Boosie said she mad because she knew that her mother filed for child support and won 80K. (laughs) You about to get 80K a month weird. Yeah. Boosie had a a nice little long response. How he spent 80K on a car, you thought you were going to get that for your pocket? And he said she wasn't I, mad when they was just going on shopping sprees every week. What the what? He said, "I take the car from her, leaving Atlanta. Laugh out loud, big lies. She left Atlanta out of nowhere, where out of nowhere, because she knew her mom had filed child support papers on me. This is after I brought the eighty thousand car. I've always taken care of my children. She wasn't saying this two weeks ago when she was in Atlanta going on a shopping spree." Every day and has never said this, but now I'm a I'm a dad. Spoiled, he said. If you go down, if you go down, and talk to your father. Talk to the truth. Talk to if you're gonna talk bad about your father, talk the truth about your mother, who's been arrested over twelve times for stealing and been in and out of jail her whole life. Your dad always tried to raise you not to be that woman. You called another woman mom the first three years of your life. We took care of you when when she was out in and out of jail. Your mother named named you after another man when you were born. <laughs> I changed your name, took responsibility. When you lived in Atlanta, you went to private schools and excelled under my roof. When she got you, she controlled your mind. What moms what mom let nineteen year old men stay with you when you're fifteen? What mom daughter gets together to put child support on a great dad and then play like you don't know what's going on? What mom waits till you have 19 months before you make uh, before you make 18 to file child support? It's a money grab. Get the fuck out of here. You have no guidance in the household. Your grandmother has spent over 17 years of her life in jail for stealing also. <laughs> and maybe in May, your B-Day, 
when you got the car on him raps, your mom said I was the best dead. Take your lick, laugh out loud. You tried to play me and got played. You will not be in that 2023 AMG Benz, boo-boo. You know I'm not the one to play with. No lies told at all. People will try to kick you when they think you down. Shaking my head. <laughs> what? She won't, she won't, uh. Lucy dropped balls on her ass. Sis, sis gonna get humble real quick. Oh, she humble. And she gonna, she gonna eat those car. ones. She gonna eat that. <laughs> Maybe she gonna, she gonna wish First she never all, did all you, that. You best believe you should never come at Boosie. My man said your mother been in jail and your mother mother. <laughs> Both never, for stealing. You should never come at Boosie and think Boosie ain't gonna come back with receipts. So man, look, Apple TV been booming for me. My wife's been a little jealous, right? Cause you've been watching shows without me. Then you get me at five, six episodes in, and I'm like, oh babe, what's this? How like wait? What? Going into the next season. What the my man been cheating man, on me. On vacation, right? I see. With Apple TV. <laughs> I, I roll over. It's what five thirty in the morning. This man up. Hey, babe, what you doing? Working. Okay. Next thing you know, it's like seven. Hey, why are you sit? What are you doing? I got the laptop up. open, locked and loaded. <laughs> <laughs> so look, just to give you some some shows you need to catch uh, catch up with. Um, that we need to catch up with. So platonic. Platonic is mom. And oh, that was show. good. I see? didn't get to see that one. Exactly. But the next five, six after that, she <laughs> hijack. Didn't get to see that one. With Idris Elba, you can still go see it. It's only four episodes in. They dropped that joint weekly. I hate that. I wish they dropped the entire season. But I'm about to start binge watching that because they playing with it. I ain't got time for to be waiting. I'm gonna watch it all at once. So I'm not watching the more episodes of that until it's up. But he killed that too. Ted Lasso. They got three seasons. Shit's hilarious. If you got a fire stick, you can watch it on there. No, no disrespect to you, Al. <laughs> what else? And and then um, what else? And then we had Good Morning News. That joint is good too, y'all. But those are some shows you can catch up on on Apple TV. It's called The Morning Show with Sandra Bullock. No, with Jennifer Anderson and Reese Witherspoon. The very cutest of them. Uh, the worst, worst and Dubai is the only city in the world where the women are far more promiscuous than the men. Because what's happened to the women that come to rich cities is they come emotionally detached. They come with the idea that I want to meet a rich man. Now that woman is completely different to the woman that comes to a city and says, I want to fall in love and have kids. Now that emotionally detached woman who comes, I want a good life, is never emotionally invested. And here's the mistake a lot of rich men make. They seem to think that if they can support a girl and give her a good life, loyalty is a given. But what they're forgetting is a woman that craves a good life doesn't seek emotional intimacy. She seeks financial intimacy. Any woman who doesn't seek emotional intimacy is far more likely to stray. The most likely to be cheated on is these men that spoil their women. Because yeah. loyal women want to be spoiled by time. They don't want to be spoiled by possessions. I don't disagree. That's unfortunate. I don't. That's the only thoughts you had? I, just, she, I mean, if you find somebody who's like, I need somebody rich because I want this different type of lifestyle and it's out of the norm for them, they're always, and they know that you're going to be the provider in whatever they want you're going to do and you're rarely present, they're going to fall astray. They're going to come back. But while you doing what you doing, they gonna be doing that. The only area, only issue. The only issue I find with this is, I think it's one sided. Because there can be a there can be a female who wants to be spoiled, but also yearns for intimacy. But once the man figures out that you bring nothing to the table and you really don't. 
Because most times, them chicks that, that want to be spoiled, they can't cook. So you're always eating out. That's so not they, true. There's a small percentage of women that can't cook. They want to be spoiled. They can't cook a lick. About the women, you were saying, if they... um. Yeah, a small percentage of them can't cook. So I just think it's not just the female going to cheat. A small cheat percentage too. can't cook. Not a large. Yeah, See? I mean, yeah, a large percentage can't cook. Which one is it? The large percentage. <laughs> so my wife agrees. You are going to get cheated on if you just think you're going to just spoil them and you ain't going to... Uh, spend no time. You ain't going to spend no time trying to build that intimate, intimate connection with them. I mean, to be able to be with somebody and know that... <laughs> It's not just materialistic in a relationship, and it's not just sexual in a relationship. Makes a good relationship because if I can say, "Oh yeah, I can spend a whole day with you in the house or out the house," and it's a vibe, and spoil you, and you know, sex is good, we good. But once you have the break in important areas in a relationship, then that's when it's not good. But if I'm still able to be wind and dine every now and then, like a schedule, like Tuesdays and Thursdays, I know me and him going out to dinner. So I'm not going to deal with nobody on a Tuesday and Thursday because we're stricted to a schedule. Because that's normally how some people are. Like they have a routine. And once you learn that routine, then you're going to know what days you can do whatever else. And y'all still be good. With one hand, don't know the other one type situation. So. And that's what a lot of people go with. But if you actually in a relationship for that person and want to build and y'all have a connection, then that's when you, you know, that doesn't apply to you. Why are you looking at me like that? Because you're trying to be funny. You lips look good. You know, I ain't creeping. I ain't gonna know. So. No? So, so I got a topic from my Reddit people. <laughs> and look, I thought this was this was true. They say, "What food or drink are you convinced people are pretending to like?" It's called me a root beer theorist, but I'm almost certain people are pretending to like sweet potatoes. Version of of potato dishes says <laughs> an extra on the sweet potato fries. <laughs> They behave. It's some empire. It's nuclear. I don't care about the rest of it. But I do think people do put too much sauce on sweet potato fries. What? What you mean too much sauce? It, it also it. When I say it is, I'm like you know when people want to go and they think the the healthy alternative instead of getting French fries is to give sweet potato fries. And that's oh, when they to, cook the same. Yeah, and that's supposed to crave your. Craving for French fries. Curve. Yeah, curve your craving for French fries. That's bull crap. But just like I think people like that's weird. They're crazy. like root beer. Because it's crazy where like yeah. I won't I won't consistently eat yams. I don't but, eat yams, but I eat mashed sweet, sweet potatoes. But or... if you if you make a sweet potato pie, I'll be in there. And it's the same thing, just with a crust. <laughs> this shit crazy, dog. And it's, it's it's particularly crazy when people mess up sweet potato pies. Yeah. Uh, well, what are we not about to do? Well, <laughs> go on the sweet potato pie, right? That's what we not about to do. Man, that was how many years ago, and this man is scarred. scarred, scarred, scarred. That shit was horrible. That scarred. shit. Sat- it should taste like a lemon pie. You know how people be like, who made a potato salad and different thing? If he sees me, who made a sweet potato pie? I'm asking. <laughs> Especially if he ain't see me make it and it's sitting up. Who made the pie? So you didn't have a food outside of them talking about sweet potato? No. That you think I just people? I thought about it. No, I didn't. You said root beer. Yeah. I think, like, ew. Root beer? Potato salad. I think y'all put too much sauce on potato salad. <laughs> He a hater. <laughs> he put too much sauce on damn right rice. Man, rice is good with everything. <laughs> you had the nerve. But you I had think, the wrong potato salad. But I think 
Because you won't even I eat the potato salad. salad. You know, for a while, what threw me off about potato salad was the green and yellow thing. I mean, the, the green and red stuff that was in it. The <laughs> relish? No. It, relish? No, I think relish? relish in there. They put that green and red stuff in What there. green and red stuff, babe? Relish. When you go to the when you go to the grocery store, because my grandmother she loves she loves that bowl store bought potato salad. She loves it. She loves store bought a lot of stuff, and she throw it in the oven and it makes it like she that cook. Like she used to trick me with the KFC chicken. She used to mother to take that shit out of the box, put it in the oven, put some barbecue sauce on it and stuff, and rinse it off a little bit, try to oh, slice it up like on her. Gosh, what God, she used to do it. Mm, mm, she was mm, mm. with that. I really. Used and for him to say her own cake taker. And for him to say he ain't got nothing. Noodles. His grandmother scarred him with noodles, pasta, ramen. So he is scarred. So for him to say he ain't had no input, you like if she make if she makes spaghetti, I like I may eat it the first day just because I'm hungry and that's the only thing I'm gonna eat, but there's no going back to it. Yeah, she fucked me up because she used to make she used to make ramen everything. We used to have ramen and vegetables, ramen and hot dogs, ramen and turkey, ramen and whatever. Like sort of like the goulash. Your parents, your grandmother and grandfather used to make anything in the refrigerator. Oh my used gosh! To put it all in one pot. Oh one my one gosh! Pot and cook that shit together, eat it as soup. The fuck! I want and then chicken. tried to offer that shit to me. <laughs> like I was gonna eat it, not knowing that they didn't know that I saw them putting that shit in the pot. I want chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma, can you make me some chicken? Grandma, just go down with the chicken in that cast iron skillet. Just give me some chicken. Yeah. But now, you was traumatized. But so you say that's relish. Relish is green and has red little specks in it. Yeah, I'm not a fan of relish. You even though it's just pickles. Not a fan of a lot of stuff. But if I fix it and then I don't fix nothing else, he ain't got no choice but to eat it. That's not true because remember you tried to put me on that chicken salad. <laughs> but annoying because he ate it. chicken salad when I made it. I just didn't want it that day. But don't take nothing out <laughs> and get mad at what I make out of what I took out. I'm, I am not gonna fuss with her about this. <laughs> disrespectful, man! A disrespect. It's cool. No other foods you want to throw out there since you say you ain't had them, but you got a lot, a lot. That you think people be overhyping. I also got the people that be trying <laughs> to put pineapples on cake. An upside down cake. No, nah, this lady brought in a cake, right? <laughs> so she brought this cake in, right? And I'm glad I didn't eat it because she said she got this recipe off of YouTube. So this wasn't something that she had perfected herself. She had just learned this recipe. So I'm glad I didn't try it. But I'm not a fan of like like pineapple upside down cake fruit cake yeah so she's she, this is what she said she said what i did was what made it taste so good um i i put the brown sugar and butter in the oven and then once it melted i put the cake mix on top of all that and that's how you do it yeah but this is not something she perfected over time on her own she just learned it on youtube okay that's just like following the box instructions you can't do that to get grand sweet potato pies was amazing not because she followed the instructions because she churned it with her old raggly hands and got down in there and did what she needed to do not because she got something off of youtube but that's how a lot of people learn and trust things yeah but still but that's how you Maybe make a pineapple upside store. down cake. She she brought this cake into the restaurant, right? Everybody mm-hmm. got a piece, including me. Mm-hmm. I took that piece of cake to the back and threw it in the trash can. So what did everybody else say about it? Everybody else said it was good. Okay. I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna find out. Okay. I told her it was good too. You so sure? Now she's saying, oh yeah, well I'm gonna make another one and I'm gonna bring it for everybody. And I'm like, oh shit. You shady. Instead of saying I'm not a fan of fruit cake. Cake with fruit, I'm not a fan of. Yeah, I'm a real, He's I'm not a, a strawberry cake. shortcake fan. No. Not, he's not a fan of that. No. He's a plain Jane cake. He with just want cake it. with icing. All that extra stuff, it's enough. But so, I am a big fan of giant cakes and Sam's Club cakes and BJ cakes. He's a fan of cakes. Cakes, cakes, cakes. 
Until next time, y'all. <laughs> He Thank just, you for listening to episode 112 of the podcast, MTMJ Podcast is the White. This episode is sponsored by us, produced by me, recorded by me, edited by me, all by me. I'm just here. Thank you. Peace. <laughs>